Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading and as this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest aside. If ever though you do have any questions and you would like to have your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancevilletarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so that we can go and find those answers for you. Also, if you do enjoy the channel and you have not yet subscribed, maybe the first time or multiple times that you come to the channel, please do click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated appreciated. So with no further ado, we're going to begin this reading. I would like to precise that this reading is a dedicated to the sign of Capricorn. I do mention it because I have channeled before the reading, I channeled um, your your person's um, emotions and their messages, but I channeled it for the sign of Capricorn. So if you want to have, you know, the right message coming to you, you have to be a Capricorn. So um, let's go and see what kind of love messages your person has for you. So I have four uh, messages and then I finish it off with an activation card from James Van Prague. So let's just turn these over and let's go see what message they have for you. So I have here and now, I have Treasure Island, I have Breathe, and I have Loyal Heart. So we are going to be begin with a Loyal Heart. I think it pretty much says what it has to say, and it is a beautiful, um, a beautiful card because your partner right now, the message that they're trying to send you that is nice and strong is that, you know, it's one of fidelity, it's one of loyalty, and it's one of devotion. I mean, could you ask for anything better, even at a beginning of a reading or anywhere in it? Um, you know, your your partnerships, your relationships, you know, they all have, you know, many qualities in common right now. It's all about honest devotion. It's about faithfulness. It's about the loyal heart and being and, and they're being shown to you at this time. Now, I have I do have a question for you, though, that I am wondering, are you as loyal in return? Okay, so make sure that you're just as loyal in return as all the loyalty that you're receiving. Um, now is a time for heartfelt commitments and trusting in the divine protection. That is it. That is all beautiful, beautiful message. But make sure, my only warning is, make sure that you are just as loyal and faithful as everything that is being given to you. Um, we're going to move over to the following card, which is Breathe. So, the Breathe card is all about patience. It's about waiting, it's about going slowly, it's a certain you know, wellness, and it is a lot about trust. Don't be too much in a hurry right now, okay? Don't, and I see the following message over here after, just, I'm going to go, you know, one message at a time, but just don't, because I have it twice here. Don't be in too much of a hurry right now. You need to take your time. The heart needs time to open, to take a breath, and let nature simply take its course. Uh, you need to release any constriction of anxiety for there's really no need for any tension whatsoever. You need to savor the moment. Um, and the waiting is, you know, won't prove difficult. Your heart knows what the ego often resists learning. Patience pays off in deep and meaningful ways, okay? So this is really about just enjoying the moment that you have with your partner right now. Enjoy your moments when you're by yourself, enjoy the moments with your partner, but it's really about, you know, enjoying all the little things that are around you also and, and having that gratitude that is coming with it also um, because not everybody has everything that you have right now. So um, it's about showing the gratitude, it's about doing the same that you're, you know, that you are receiving. Um, so please do, you know, this is really, really about just relaxing, releasing, releasing the tension and enjoying the time that you have right now with your partner. Um, Treasure Island, well, you know what? You're just a treasure and this is what your partner is trying to, assert, is slowly discovering. So your relationship is just simply a jewel. It's providing any, even more than what you need or that, 
than what your partner needs. It's even more than what, you know, they could have uh, thought of or believed of or even, you know, thought was possible into a love relationship. Um, no matter how long, you know, you've been together, you and your partner are always kind of discovering hidden things about each other. Um, and, you know, it's going to continue that way for a long time. Now is really a time of discovery, okay? So this is what your partner would like. This is one of their messages also. Yes, they do believe that, you know, this is a, your, your relationship is like a treasure and it is just absolutely fantastic, but they would like to continue to discover you. They would like to go a little bit deeper. They would like to know more. They would like to pretty much to know whatever it is that, that there is to know about you. And this is all going to give up, you know, to some romance that's going to bloom. Love is in the air. You can really be assured that your partnership is going to bring you great gifts and valuable lessons throughout your relationship but you need to keep your heart open okay so you need to keep your heart open and you need to celebrate love that's what you need to do we're going to finish it off over here with the here and the now now over here you did have a warning from or not a warning it's a strong word you did have a message from your person saying you know to take things slowly just enjoy the moment well here we are repeating ourselves over here okay so this is being fully present in the moment it's living one single day at a time. This is what your partner wants you to do. It's really easy to yearn, you know, um, to yearn different things. Um, you know, it could be anything. It could be from, you know, a more romantic relationship, more fun, more reliable, more passionate. Or the good old days could have been gone. Um, you know, a new day has dawned. You need to let your heart trust that you have everything that you need right now. Um, whether you have, you know, that you have everything within your relationship, tomorrow is simply beyond your reach. Yesterday, you just can't return, so let's forget about it. The now is all that is available to you. You need to stay present. You need to stay aware that in this moment, as you cherish and you approve of your beautiful self, you are a magnet for love. Spirit loves you, and you know what? Your partner loves you, and they really, really, truly do. So enjoy the moment. Enjoy the love that you have. As I said down here, you need to have some gratitude. Not everybody has everything that you do have, so please do enjoy it. Um, the message from James over here is uh, the present. You live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances. So the most difficult lessons for human beings is to learn to live into the present moment. It is part of our nature. You know, this is the third time this message comes to you. Um, and unfortunately, um, it is a mindset that just strips us of our power. Instead, we should simply be taught to learn from the past, live for today and experience tomorrow. Yes, but do that tomorrow. Only then are we able to glimpse our true mission on earth. Everything else is just somewhat static. When you are present in this moment, you're existing where life is actually kind of occurring. So don't spend valuable time worrying about a crisis that may just never come. Of course, look at the grand picture, evaluate your life and set goals, but don't place unneeded stress where it just doesn't belong. It's wasted energy. It's relieving the past. It's also a fool's game. Okay, don't relive the past. You have no power there others than to diminish the potential of your today. So in contrast, in the present, you have the power to forgive the hurts that have been done to you and apologize for anything that you have caused within the present moment. So the past becomes a stepping stone to enlightened and opposed to a speed bump on your road to happiness. So fully appreciate the moment right now and attempt to get the most out of every second. It is when you let go and you reside into the present that you are able to summon love with every thought and every experience to you. So this was your reading from your person. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that it brought you some clarity. If you do have any questions, you would like to have a, your own personal reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for any following readings. And I do wish you the most beautiful day. Uh, many blessings and I will be seeing you tomorrow. Thank you for being there.